Hi, I'm Adrian Sutton. I'm one of the developers on Teku. And today I want to show you how you can quickly sync Teku on any network uh, by using an initial state from Infura. So this is the Infura dashboard. I've created a free account at infura.io. And all I need to do is come to the ETH2 section and I'm going to create a new project. So this first one is one I've been using for some Teku testing. Uh, it won't be there by default, but you can create one. Uh, we need to provide a name for it. So this is my awesome demo. Create that. And what that then gives us is access to the APIs. It's unique project ID and project secret. They're secret. Don't put them in a webinar. Um, I'll revoke these <laughs> before I post this. But all we need to do is copy the HTTPS URL. So I'm going to sync mainnet today. And then we can come over and run that with Teku. So we're going to use Teku on mainnet. And the initial state is going to be that URL. Now, it's part of the standard APIs. This is just a typical uh, Teku API that Infura is providing. Uh, other clients uh, also support this same standard API. So if I can get this right, it's ETH beacon. Uh, no, that's wrong. ETH v1 debug beacon states finalized. And with a bit of luck, if I've typed that right, uh, then Teku will start up and download that initial state. So there it is pulling it. I still got it right because it's taking a little while. Uh, it's about 20 meg for mainnet, um, not huge. And you can see already we've loaded the initial state and we're up at epoch 33,000. So that's the latest finalized epoch that we just grabbed. What Teku then needs to do is go and find some peers. So it's got from when it downloaded that about two epochs worth of blocks worth of sync. The chain is moving on, so it'll be a little bit by, more than that by the time it finishes finding peers. That takes about a minute. So we started at you know 12.05 my time, and we'll see a couple more slots while we're going through the discovery process, looking for those peers, sorting out if they're any good. Um, and once we find them, what we'll see is a sync event printed most likely, so that we're catching up those last few uh, blocks from where it was finalized to where the actual chain head is now. There we go, there's that sync event. So we found 18 peers there. Uh, we're very close already. So normally this is you know, a day of syncing or so, um, but we're what, 40 blocks behind. Um, so by the time the next update prints round, we're now in sync. Uh, so 651, so that's, just over a minute from when we started to uh, being fully up and in sync. At this point, if I was running a validator, it would be producing attestations um, and everything's good to go. We can see we've got a new block in there on time. That's all it takes. I can run that again. Um, and so if I can't shut down Teku, I can run that again, leaving the same initial state param in there. Because I've already got an existing database, it doesn't need to download it. And we just start up from the initial storage. So you can see we're not, uh, there you go, not loading the specified initial state. So it's really handy that you can just point this at Infura. If any time I need to spin up a new node, uh, it will download the latest state, get it automatically back in sync really quickly. That's all it is. It's a really simple feature, but it's <laughs> yeah, pretty much a game changer that uh, you can sync a chain so quickly and be up and validating. 